this your spiritual daily bites coming your way from feeding on jesus international god honors you when you ask him to bless protect and provide for you as jabez did in first chronicles chapter 4 verses 9 and 10. jabez was a man whom the lord called more honorable than his brothers yet his entire story is summed up in two verses. In Hebrew, the name Jabez means sorrow or pain. But Jabez did not let the meaning of his name detect his destiny. Instead, Jabez prayed a bold prayer to God, asking him to prosper him, and God answered his prayer. First, Chron First Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 and 10 reads, and Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. Jabez cried out to God of Israel, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. And God granted his Request. Amen. God called Jabez more honorable than his brothers because he prayed for blessings. In Hebrew, the word for bless is barak, barak, and it is used twice in this phrase, which means that Jabez asked God to bless him richly. By praying for this, Jabez was asking the Lord to prosper him. Jabez was praying for protection from harm. This resembles the prayer of protection that is found in Psalm 91, showing us that we too can and should pray for God to protect us from evil. This simple yet this is simple yet bold prayer of Jabez might seem like a hefty request to some, but it is a prayer that God deems honorable. God calls it honorable when you ask him to bless you. So let's pray for blessings. Let's pray for pr prosperity. And let's pray for protection. For only when you are blessed, then you can be a blessing, you can be a blessing to others. A believer's life is not without troubles. Yes, in fact, we will suffer persecution for his name's sake. But we can rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is our reward in heaven. Health and pro provision were provided for at the cross, and we know this because Jesus himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. See Matthew chapter 8 verse 17 and Isaiah chap chapter 53 verses 4 and 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. God put the word surely in Isaiah 53 because he knew that there would be doubts. Half is part of the atoning work of Christ and Jesus has fulfilled it at the cross for us. Our experiences do not negate God's word. When there is a setback, we can trust God for restoration. He will do it just like he did it for Je Jabez. God wants you to live a good life. Jesus came to give life and life more abundantly. See John chapter 10 verse 10. Brethren, let's lean into God's love and believe the goodness of his heart for us to prosper in all things. Pray daily because God wants you to be in his real and living relationship with him. As, a, as you pray, trust God for more so that you can be a channel of blessings to many. Meditate on God's word and see his promises come to pass. When you constantly meditate on God's word, you will begin to see the promises of God manifest in your life. God's word influences and imparts faith to you. As you meditate on what the scripture promise, as you meditate on what the scriptures promise, 
your reality will align with the reality of God's word. Even when naysayers throw questions of doubt about the Bible, never allow what you are unsure about to shake what you are sure about. What you can be sure about is this. Jesus wants you healthy, whole, and provided for. Back in the days when Jesus went around healing people, nobody who had who was sick got turned away. No, 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 no. Today, you don't have to get right with your spouse, deal with bitterness in your heart, or confess all your sins in order to qualify for healing. Jesus never qualified the people who came to him with those conditions. He gave grace freely. And he always blessed them despite their background or situation. God wants us to prosper in all things and be in health. Just as our soul continues to prosper. He also asks that we can pray to be good stewards of that prosperity and use it for God's purposes. And to know that it is God's will for those who are sick to be healed and made Whole. Amen, brethren. Remain blessed in the Lord. Meditate daily, day and night on his word and stand upon his promises for you. Amen. God cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Stay connected and share this audio to bless a soul. Bye-bye.